Hi, it's me again with Corel Oil Tips and Tricks, and this is part three. We just made this in part two. And I started thinking instead of rotating 120 degrees, let's rotate it 90 degrees and make a total different effect. So let's same thing. Let's make a three inch circle. And if you realize what I'm doing, I'm changing the thickness of the line to a quarter inch. That way, both of them are going to be the same thickness. And what it does also, and just say, okay, look at it now. It's the size is three inches. Watch what happened when I turn it into an object. Now it becomes 3.25 because it's Corel is doing. Let's go back and see how the, the handles are more on the inside. Now they're going to be on the outside. And then it's an object, so we can left click, no fill. and right click outline. You can't just make a duplicate of that because it'll make the gap bigger. So that one's 3.25, so let's make this one five. Do the same thing, make the thickness quarter of an inch. Object or object, convert outline to object, left click, right click. Now, you know, that's actually really pretty big. Let's see. That's about what we had. But remember, if you remember in the other video, we moved it pretty far down. So now, let me move this out of the way for a second. And I was holding down the control button, so I, I'm still in the center. Let's take this one and control D and make a duplicate. Double click on the pen tool and move probably to that note. This time, let's rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, Control D. So now we're going to have four of those. I don't like the, the inner circle is uh, not far enough out. So let's take it holding down the shift key and grow it out some. And then also put it right in the middle of our drawing. Then we can do the same thing we did before. I'm going to get rid of these lines first so you won't make a mistake. And I don't probably have to go through the whole process, but I will. And just what we're trying to do is when we have the smart fill tool, uh, it'll have a place to go and fill. Now we're going to start right here. If we're going to go have this one go over, then it needs to go under. And our, because I move my line, my, my, or I, change my circle. Now they're a little bit thicker, so you, you'd want to recreate a circle. If you notice, this is thicker than this. So this went over, we need this to go under. This went under, so we need it to go over. This went over, so we need it to go under. And by doing that, it makes it look like it goes under. So that's under, so we want this one over, under, over, under. Um, then we need to do the same thing in the middle. And this might cause a little bit of a problem with these lines, but we'll go, we'll knock out that, we'll knock out that, we'll knock out that, we'll knock out that. This is going to look pretty cool. And then we'll knock out this. Now we're going to do the same thing we did with the Smart Fill tool. Let's move this out of the way. Let's see how big this is. 5.25. Six is probably good. Smart Fill. Nudge it over. Nudge it over. Nudge it over. Nudge it over. Whoop. I got in the middle. Back up. And you can now you can, if you ever make a duplicate, it just do that. Just move it over more. Delete it because the duplicate could hurt you. And I, I just see I made a mistake. We're gonna go ahead and finish and then I'll show you how to correct that. Okay, right here, I didn't cut either line. So let's just move that out of the way totally. And let's go ahead and move that out of the way and that out of the way. And let's go back and look at this. This one is going over and over, so we need it to go under. I just missed that part. 
it'd almost be better just to start over because you kind of get really confused. So let's smart fill. And you know, one time somebody said on my video, they liked my videos because when I make a mistake, I just keep going. You know, I could have stopped the video and redone it, but I've only, I've never really done that. I almost think I did that one twice, I did. I did that one twice. And one more. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier. Let's delete that. Like I said, don't ever delete a drawing, put it off this side. Now we're gonna left click, right click, and we're gonna go ahead and go up to object and group it. If you do not group it, the the uh, you'd have to do them individually with this with the uh, contour tool. Go to object, go to effects, contour. We'll contour that point zero three. This time we're going to have a little bit less of a gap, but that's fine. And then just be able to fill in that, nudge it over, that, nudge it over, that, nudge it over, that, nudge it over. And now your line is definitely showing up that it's thicker. All right. Pretty cool design. And I'm sure you could keep doing. I don't know that that would be considered a Celtic knot. But you could even take it further and, and link these together in a way. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank